Safe Visitor manages all types of visitors to your facility. For a temporary visitor showing up for a meeting, simply click on Temporary Visitor, scan their government issued ID. It will pull all of their data off that government issued ID. Snap a quick photo with your webcam, click Continue. We just ran a background check, National Sex Offender Registry check, which is an optional tool. It also checked against your internal exclusion list, where you can create lists of individuals that are not allowed on your property or not allowed in certain buildings. If everything's fine in the background check, simply type the person's name they're visiting and the reason for the visit. Allow and print the badge. and now they have been checked into your system. You will notice on your dashboard that it will show everybody that's currently checked into your building. If you're an administrator, you can filter through all buildings in your account. If you're an attendant in a specific building, you'll only see those people checked into your building. You also have the ability to create contact list. These contacts would receive emergency notifications, so if I had an unruly visitor that a showed up at our facility, I could simply click on this emergency button, sends a text message to our group that handles security that I need help at a specific desk or location. It would also send a notification if somebody on the excluded list tries to enter the facility. You have access to visitor logs, everybody that has entered and exited your facility. You can look at historic data. You also control the exclusion list like I mentioned. And the other component is you can manage your visitors that are vendors or volunteers. A vendor or volunteer must be credentialed at a higher level. They have more access to your facility and so they can be tied to a comprehensive national background check. We create a specific link for your company. You can then send your volunteers or vendors to this specific link. They would select, I'm a vendor or a volunteer click next step. We can now put whatever information you want in this visitor agreement so if you have a visitor policy we can drop that information in here so they would electronically sign for your visitor policy. Now they're going to e-sign for the background check. FACRA compliant. They can download a copy of their FCRA rights right here. They agree to the terms of the agreement the disclosure and authorization. They electronically sign for the background check. They enter their information. Or if you have it set up, they can actually scan their government issued ID and it will populate the fields that are on the government issued ID. What is missing is email. Also the name of your organization, your phone number, your social security number for the background check. This is not stored on Safe Visitor, but it is pushed to our background screening partner, Safe Hiring Solutions. Select what building or buildings you want access to. So it'll list the buildings, or if you want access to all, just simply select all. Didn't enter a birth date. And now the process is complete. It has been sent to Safe Hiring Solutions to complete the vendor or volunteer background check. Once that background check is completed, if there's no criminal history, it comes back to Safe Visitor. It will approve your vendor or volunteer. It will send them an email with their identification card. The first time they visit your facility, they'll scan in with their electronic ID card, or you can print an identification card. The first time it'll scan, it'll ask for a photo, it'll be taken with a web cam and then it will send them another email with a photo copy of their identification card. Thank you.